Hello, my name is Brian Fisher. I'm an NX application engineer with ProLim PLM. Today we'll be talking about NX assembly patterns. We'll begin by opening up my base assembly. And within my base assembly, you see I currently have no parts. We'll first go ahead and we'll add my first component. We're going to constrain it and we're going to make this as a fixed constraint. As you can currently see, once I make this my work part, I have a cylinder and a simple hole. We're going to add a pattern feature to this. We'll select my hole, select our vector, select our point. We have it on count and span with six and a span of 360. We're now going to go back into my assembly making my work part and we're going to add our leg. This time we're going to constrain it and we're going to constrain the leg to that pattern. Next we're going to come in and we're going to do a pattern component. We're going to select my leg. We're going to come down here to layout, pull it down to reference. You'll notice that it picks up that pattern. I also have these little handles here that I can grab. And if I want it, I could delete one leg from the pattern. However, for this case, I'm going to just go ahead and say OK. You can see now that we have six legs. However, if I go back over to my base plate and I make my work part again, we'll go over to the part navigator here, go into my pattern and edit my pattern. I'm going to go ahead and say 10 this time. I'm going to say OK. You notice when I do this, it also adds the additional legs into the assembly. This is a quick demonstration of how you can use patterns and how a pattern and a component will help you save time during any revision changes. Thank you for your time and have a good day.